Hi, I'm Glenn Everett. Living the dream! The 1969 Z28 Camaro, one of the most iconic cars from that famed muscle car era. So let's have a chat to Tom about this machine. Tom, thanks so much for having us, mate. It's a spectacular looking Camaro. Where did you find it? Found it in California. Uh, it had been there its whole life. Um, I was originally looking for a black SS Camaro of the same year. He called me up early one morning and said, uh, I've, I've found a car, you've got to take this one. And he sent me the photos and, and a quick video of it and I was sold. Tom, there's a lot of muscle cars out there to choose from, but what made you go for the Camaro? It's just got a very aggressive look from any, any way you look at it. Just, just a very tough looking car. The original Z28 Camaro came out with the smaller capacity 302 cubic inch engine. This 454 big block must be an absolute monster. What's it like to drive? How does it feel on the road? Oh, it makes you pretty happy. It's, um, it's not a smooth ride, but that's all part of the experience. Just, um, just get out there on a sunny day yeah, on the highway, just shifting through the gears, great fun. The pulling power must be amazing. Yeah, it's quite quick off the lights, just a, a dangerous amount of power. Uh, it's, it's very good fun, always puts a smile on your face. <laughs> Chevy Camaro, what an iconic car. Up high on my list for one of the most desirable muscle cars through that 60s period. Absolutely awesome. The thing you notice with this car is the awesome amount of torque it's got at low RPM. You just step on the throttle, two or 3,000 RPM, and the thing just takes off like a bull at a gate. That's what I like about it. You don't have to turn it to 8,000 RPM. I mean, we all like the sound of it. It's revving hard, don't we? But just the ease of the ability to be able to accelerate at low RPM is just awesome. Power under the curve, you can't beat it. And that's why they say torque wins races. In this case, it certainly does. <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Does the space shuttle sound familiar? This thing is unreal. And I wasn't even trying. But the Z28 was actually designed to go racing in the American Trans Am Racing Series. A series where all the big boys went out to play, like gladiators in battle. You had your Boss Mustangs, you had your AAR Cooters, you had your Trans Am Challengers, you had all of those mean cars in battle. Can you imagine the roar of all those muscle cars? heading around the racetrack in those late 60s when this type of car would have been running. Now in that 1969 year, General Motors dominated in the Camaro with the Trans Am series with Mark Donoghue at the wheel. Those little 302s were singing, they made 440 horsepower at 7200 RPM. Great machine. And the good old M22 Rock Crusher manual. Imagine what those things would have been like, sideways, smoking their tyres, out on the racetrack. An awesome thing. Now this Z28 is a little bit different to your average deal, it's not as it left the factory. And for all you purists out there, don't get angry. This is the way Tom bought the car from the US. It's had a serious power plant replacement. But you know what, it's a very worthy power plant. It's an LS7 454 factory high performance engine. These engines actually have a label on the rocker cover saying for off-highway application only, not to be used on public roads. Yeah, right. <laughs> this engine was a killer. Had forged internals, four-bolt block, 
that a huge racing mechanical camshaft. In fact, it was the same that they use in the iconic all aluminium ZL 1427. It had about 12.25 to 12.5 to 1 compression with big dome style forged pistons. This thing was a serious bit of gear. Now, the engine was listed by the factory at 500 horsepower. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. Back in the day, one of the popular hot rodding magazines did a dyno test on one of these engines. They made 550 horsepower and 600 foot pound of torque. That is insane. If you wanted to pull a building down, then this is your engine, this is your power plant. Insane. The only downside is the fuel economy. Absolutely horrifying. You need a car to trail around behind you with a 44 gallon drum full of fuel. But that's the only downside. The rest is all positive for obvious reasons. The Camaro dates back to those mid 60s when the Ford Mustang was released in 1964. They absolutely created a storm. And that was a storm that GM had to calm. They were gonna be in trouble. If they didn't come up with a solution to take on that Mustang head on, they were gonna lose a lot of sales. So in late 1966, the 67 year model Camaro was actually released. And I love that 67, 68 and 69 era, iconic shape. Now it's interesting, back in the day when I was coming up with this concept of Camaro, the head of GM had to come up with a name. They were looking through the French English dictionary and found the name Camaro. The meaning, comrade or friendship. Now the GM executive said that every car should be the owner's friend. Well, you know what? I reckon they were right. I'd love this thing to be my friend. <laughs>